One of my clients has asked me to do a little bit of due diligence on a quad he's thinking about purchasing. Chris, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. Gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I am your host, James Wise. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly. We do things uh, a couple different ways on this show, right? I am all about helping you guys become the best real estate investors you can be. I am here, my team is here at your disposal to assist you guys in, in building the most profitable portfolios in the Cleveland, Ohio market. And we're able to give you some assistance and a push in the right direction in other markets across the USA. But we can really help you with a top to bottom solution here in the Cleveland area. If you need it, if you only need a few uh, things, we can help you with those and then send you on your way. What uh, we're doing here for my client, Chris, is is one of the, the things we can do. You see, there's over 5,000 real estate agents in the Cleveland market selling real estate. On top of that, you got wholesalers. Some of you guys out there that watch the show, you guys are doing your own direct mail. You're looking at bank tapes. You guys are doing everything you can do to find the best real estate deals available, and that's great. That's what you should be doing. Uh, that's why we sell the real-time MLS feeds. We want to give you guys my direct broker access already pre-sorted for for you so you can uh, get access to the deals faster than your competition and, and make the most money possible. And my client, Chris, he's a longtime client of mine. He actually utilizes our brokerage services, but he handles property management on his own. And that's great because we're an a la carte uh, we're an a la carte business here, right? We give you the assistance you need, and we don't force the assistance you don't need on you. And uh, I've sold a lot of properties uh, for Chris. We've done, we've done a lot of deals together. You guys have probably seen several of my videos with Chris. Um, a lot of my analysis videos with Chris, rather. And what uh, we're doing here is one of the ways the analysis show works. Chris found his own property, and he sent it to me, and he wants me to help him do his due diligence on it. And, of course, another service that you guys can get is something that Chris has used multiple times, which is you just send me your criteria, and I will take your criteria and try to find you the very best deal. But what Chris did is he found the deal, he sent me the deal, and I, I do I do gotta say, I like the deal quite a bit, so let's get right into it. It is a quad, and quads are my favorite type of property. 4060 East 44th Street, Newburgh Heights, Ohio, 44105. This thing was listed nine days ago for a price of $145,000. We have three units occupied currently, not a lot of photos. Uh, we got some of the exterior and some of the one vacant unit, and that vacant unit actually looks pretty good, so I'm just going to cruise through those for you. This is the vacant unit. It looks to be pretty rent-ready to me. Now, you know, when you actually get a crew in there, you know, get on the ground folks in there, run your home inspector through there, I'm sure you'll find little knick-knack items that uh, make this unit not 100% rent ready. For, but for all intents and purposes, it looks pretty rent ready. Up here is the attic. This is not part of anyone's apartment. This is common space. There clearly is a bunch of junk. Uh, sometimes, if you're renting these properties, guys, what a, what a good idea that you can do is you can actually lock off areas like that attic, right? You're not going upstairs to exit the building in case of a fire or anything of that nature. So you might as well just lock off a common area like that because you don't need to have the tenants using it because what happens is they just end up leaving shit up there. and It's all common space. You know, then you'll get tenants complaining that people are stealing their shit or my shit came up missing. So you want to eliminate your problems as best you can, as quick as you can. So my recommendation for you, Chris, if you take over this building is I, I would just just drill that door shut, lock that door shut so you don't have to deal with it. Get all that crap out of there and never think about that attic again. Now, this is good stuff what we got right here. We got a hot water tank. That only looks like four or five years old. 
And then these furnaces also look to be pretty damn new to me. They're probably under five years old as well. And Chris, you're a pretty seasoned investor. You know the gig, but just so everyone else out there who's watching this video when it does publicly launch on Holton Wise TV, furnaces, they're going to last you about 30 years. They're going to cost about $3,000 to replace. Hot water tanks last approximately 15 years cost about a thousand dollars to replace and then roofs a big old roof on a property like this is probably like a seven thousand dollar roof so these are things that you're going to have to keep in mind when you're factoring in your capital expenses and then we got four updated electrical panel well it looks like two of them are definitely updated the two in the middle are definitely updated it's possible the other two are not that is like an older looking casing i'm not a hundred percent sure that'll be something that your home inspector will want to look into and then here are the other two furnaces, it appears to me, and then another hot water tank. These appear to be in pretty decent, you know, pretty decently new as well. Now, it's got three. Three units are occupied. The current rent roll is 600, 525, and 600. But those rents are drastically under market value. So what I want to do is I want to just break down for you what you could anticipate out of this property going forward. So pulling up the chart, we have all four units. We can get 750 in units like that very easily. Or, you know, you're handling your own management, Chris, so you can easily get $750. Big duplex units like this, 750 is the number you should be aiming for. All landlords out there that are watching this, just to get an idea on the Cleveland market, Whenever Holton Wise, when, whenever we go in and we rent one of these duplex or quad type units, we are constantly getting 750. The the days of renting stuff for 550, 600, those are long in the past. If you have any decent type of renovated unit, 750 is the number you guys should be targeting. So, with that, you'd be able to bring in three thousand dollars a month or thirty six thousand dollars a year. Of course, not all that's profit. What you could anticipate spending every month, 150 on repairs, maintenance, vacancy and non-payment, and capital expenditures. Now, I already explained the big capital expenditures, the cost of the furnaces, hot water tanks, roofs, and the ages. So it's not like you're spending 150 every month on those items. What it is is you're saving because eventually you're going to have the big $7,000 roof, the big $3,000 furnace, the big $1,000 hot water tank. So you're, you're saving because... Like clockwork, those large, big-ticket charges, they're coming your way. So you need to save 150 every single month in anticipation for those. As far as repairs, stuff doesn't just, like, break on properties, like, randomly or all the time. Yeah, every now and again, you're going to have furnace service calls or hot water tank service calls, things of that nature, but... The majority of the money you spend on repairs is actually going to be you just saving that money every single month because when a tenant turns over, you're going to have to spend, you know, 1000 2000 3000 If they get evicted, it could be worse. Five, six, seven thousand, 7000 stuff like that. That's what you're saving for. You're saving for those big, big, huge, like, big bills, right? So when I do these charts, I don't want people just thinking like, oh, there's going to be $150 charge in January, February, March, April, May. It doesn't work that way, guys. It's a whole lot of zeros and then boom, big charges. As far as the taxes, that is something that uh, is very consistent though. You should be spending $358 a month on that. Insurance, that's going to be $100 bucks a month. For those of you out there who don't know, I am an owner in a farmer's insurance business. We have our own office, and all we handle is insurance for landlords. So in the show notes below, I've got a link that you could go ahead and click to have us quote you on any of your rental properties in any of the 50 states in the USA, and we will try to lower your premium because that is all we do. When you have a farmer's business, you're not locked into just farmers. You get to work with a subset of other insurance companies and then there's a lot of just like random unknown names of insurance providers out there that we are appointed with independently so we take you know your portfolio and we shop it around get you guys the best possible deals so if you're looking to make a little bit more money on your existing portfolio in the show notes below, I've got that route for you. And, of course, Chris will be able to quote you out on this to get you an official quote, but it should be about 100 Water and sewer, 300 bones a month. Lawn care, I don't know what you're paying, but 
for instance, if you wanted the Holton Wise to handle it, that would be 44 a month. And then I don't know what you're paying for PM or how you have your, your business structure because I know you handle it on your own. But typically what you're uh, looking at and folks could uh, you know anticipate spending would be about 10% of the rent. So that's 300 a month. So this property should cost roughly $1,552 a month on average to operate. You're bringing in a scheduled rent of 3000 a month. So that leaves you with an NOI of $1,448. At a purchase price of $145,000, that puts this bad boy at a cap rate of 12. And if you got a mortgage, you only got to bring 36250 to the table. After you paid off your teeny tiny $519 a month mortgage payment, you'd take home in your pocket on average 6200 or so bucks a year, which would put this property at a 31% cash on cash return. Cash flow as fuck, baby. If you guys like this hoodie, use the promo code HWTV10. Snag yourself a 10% discount. But, Chris, you and I both know... This property is not actually going to make you 31%. It could. It very well could. You could pick this sucker up at $145,000, and you could just go in there and be like, hey, everybody, rent's going up, 750 750 750 And all three of those existing tenants, they could be like, hell yeah, Chris, that's, that's the market rate. Not a problem. We will pay that. And then you move a new tenant in, and then boom, you, you would make a 31% cash-on-cash return. Being in the business, right, you know, you pay me uh, to help you guys with due diligence. You pay me to, to give you guys realistic expectations of what you can get in the Cleveland market. And I'm not just here as a, as a pie in the sky guy. I, I don't think that's uh, a realistic expectation. Yes, it's possible. Yes, it could happen. But, you know, looking at the existing rent roll, 600, five and a quarter, 600. I believe you could probably raise those rents up to 750 slowly with only losing a couple tenants, uh, two of the three. I don't know when they would move out. But what I think is very unlikely is you go in on day one and say, hey, everybody, you're, all y'all's rent is seven fifty now. I find it very unlikely that you can do that to all three of those tenants. And all three of those tenants say, yeah, man, not a problem. Sign me up. So if you tried to do that immediately... You know, maybe one of them stays, maybe the other one moves out. You got to renovate their unit. What are you spending? We don't have any photos, but hey, man, somebody's living in a unit for a while, and then you got to get it all the way up to be able to be beautiful and pristine and get that market rent of seven fifty. You're spending probably at least five thousand dollars, if I had to guess. That's if one of them move out. What does the third one do? Who knows, man? Maybe it goes one way, maybe it goes the other. A great way to increase the rents up to market without increasing the amount of turnover you're naturally going to face when dealing with a, a property of this sort is to go slow. What I like to see is you come in, you take this building over, get everybody on your lease at the existing rents. That way, you know, you don't have to worry about evicting one of them. Say like one of them doesn't pay the very first month because, you know, these are inherited tenants. We don't know you know, what, what these tenants are going to do. They haven't been screened by us. They haven't been screened by you. So maybe the first month, if some somebody doesn't pay, you don't want to go to court without your own lease because then the tenant can lobby the excuse that they didn't understand who they were supposed to pay. They thought they were supposed to pay the old landlord, not you. And at the very least, what that does is that continues your case. And at the at the worst, it can, it can make evicting that tenant tough. So ideally, you never want to ever ever go to an eviction court uh, and stand in front of a magistrate without the tenant being on your lease. So what I found the easiest thing to do, because by law, just so you guys are aware, by law, you have to accommodate existing leases. When you buy into a property, you buy the existing leases. You can't just say, hey, guys, you got four months left on your lease. I don't care about that lease. Here's my new lease. Sign it or you're getting evicted. Don't work that way. By law, the tenant has the right to just stay put on their existing lease. But if you go in and offer them the ability to sign a new lease with you and you say, hey, man, I'm just going to have you sign a new lease with me so you understand how I do business. And guess what? Nothing major is going to change. Your rent is going to remain the same for the next 12 months. You're locked in. You don't have to worry about a rental increase or me pushing you out. You do that, tenants will happily sign your leases. And then if they 
decide to break the rules or run amok, not pay rent, boom, you go evict them immediately. And when you go in front of that magistrate, you got a slam dunk case because they're on your lease. So that's what I think you should do. So what I would do is I would go in and I would take those three units. I would sign them all up on 12-month leases right off the bat, spend no money on renovations, do whatever you got to do to get that last unit, which is basically rent ready, ready to go. That one will bring in 750 And then... 12 months from now, I would look at those tenants and I would make small increases, 25 bucks a unit, 50 bucks a unit, 75 bucks a unit, and I would slowly work them up to that $750 a month. Now, I want to go to a quick word from the sponsor of today's show, and there are a couple other things I need to talk to you about when we're making an offer on this particular property. G'day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month so for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. All right, Chris, welcome back. You may have noticed on my desk here, I got a whole bunch of papers. Now, the first one is the point of sale inspection report from Newberg. And this motherfucker is big, man. It's actually 79 pages. Uh, but it's actually not horrible. It's it's just the uh, the way that they actually like write these up. So if you if you could see that, it uh, it shows you this like checkbox system on each one of the units. So it's actually not that bad. Um, anybody else who's watching this who's unfamiliar with what the point of sale actually is, there's several municipalities in the Cleveland market that have these and they're very important to how we are bidding on properties in this market. So I actually made a video just about what the point of sale is in the Cleveland market so we don't need to waste a bunch of quality time explaining it every time. I'm sure if you watch all my content, you don't want to listen to me ramble on about what a point of sale is every single video. So in the show notes below, if you don't know, you can click that. But what we got here, Chris, we got a pretty large point of sale, and the listing agent said specifically that it is it is negotiable. Now, at the particular price that they are offering this property, I think you got to get it point of sale clear because I, I wouldn't want you to spend $145,000 and then try to clear off a 79-page point of sale report on your own. And I don't think that would be a problem to make your offer because I think if she says it's negotiable. So... What that typically means is the seller, they could do everything, but, you know, most people, they don't really want to deal with it. They would like to just uh, let the buyer assume everything. Um, but I think you can make them do all the repairs if you come in with a strong offer. So that's why I think you should go in at the $145,000 price point, contingent, of course, on your own inspection, and getting them to clear it off because they've already done some of the work. They actually sent me this receipt here. This is some of the work they've continued, uh, they have already completed. And then in addition to that, they gave me this invoice for some work that has not yet been done. It is $6,297 dollars and 76 cents it's for some exterior work it's from a company called janitor jack they're out of beachwood that's another suburb here in the cleveland market so with the fact that they've provided us the pos which of course i'll get to you in an email they said it's negotiable and they went ahead and did this much stuff and then they have another quote for this particular vendor to do this amount of work I think if we come in hot at 145000 and say, hey, you guys handle the POS, we don't want to deal with that, I think that's the best way to handle this particular property because, you know, if everything goes pie in the sky smooth, it could eventually, you know, 31% return on your cash if you only have $36,000 into the deal. Now, of course, I, I think that's unlikely. I think by the time you get the rents that high, we're going to have turned over a unit or two and done some rent-ready renovations. But I I'm of the opinion 
that you should always finance anything you can when we're working with the best debt. And that's why quads are, of course, are my favorite property because the financing on quads is the very best, right? You get the residential loan. It works for properties between one and four units. The only negative to the residential loan is we're only able to get 10 of them in our name. But the positives are it's 30 years, it's fixed interest, it's low interest, it's tax deductible. So in a nutshell, it's the very best debt you can get. And once you get to a five-unit building, you don't get the residential financing anymore. you got to go to commercial financing, which is usually called in five, 10, or 15 years. So you don't get that long 30-year loan. So I think you maximize the amount of leverage, minimize your amount of cash in the deal, maximize your cash on cash return, make a strong offer and get them to handle those repairs for you. Because, you know, what's nice is they're providing us receipts from actual contractors. A lot of times when you're trying to buy uh, rental properties and you're asking the seller to make repairs, sometimes I'm like, yeah, we should just make it because I think they're half ass and stuff or they're going to try to do it as cheap as possible. But both of these uh, receipts appear to be from pretty legitimate vendors. So I think you could uh, anticipate the work getting done correctly. In addition to that, Newberg is going to come back in with a fine-tooth comb to make sure everything's okay to clear off just this mammoth 79-page document. That is the one good thing about the point of sale. When you're working on the buy side, it, it, it really keeps the sellers honest. So that's what I think. I think uh, it's a solid deal for you, man. I think it'd be great in your portfolio. And, uh, you know, you got multiple choices, as you know. You can either reach out to the listing agent directly or, as we've always done in the past, you shoot my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com, and we will act as your buyer's agent. And, of course, we'll make a contingent on your inspection. Then when that inspection report comes out, you know, we'll have more information than we have currently. And if we go in hot at $145,000, maybe that inspection report comes in and there's some other issues that we have not necessarily noticed. We have a little bit of leverage to try to get you uh, some additional repairs or perhaps some additional discounts off that price. For everyone else, if you're interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one, like my man Chris has done multiple times, just go to HoltonWise.com, click the property search for sale tab, and go to the MLS search and analysis and pick up any analysis product you'd like in addition if you want to buy properties from us but you don't want to pay for this one-on-one -on -one experience just check out the investment properties for sales show if you subscribe to our mailing list we email it to you every single day at 1 p.m eastern standard time and those are all the properties we are selling you and they all come with a complete full video tour to give you guys the most transparent buying experience possible as always i'm james wise with holton wise and this is real estate investing made easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders 
who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.